Sorry guys for me looking ridiculous, smiling like crazy. I didn't know what to do. And Ash is taking forever. So again, listen to her. They're, they're, we're making this amazing binder and I hope you enjoy. We have our binder, and now we're gonna do a chevron pattern, which is like zigzags. And having the paint, having the tape, means that you won't get like you'll have better lines, and that you'll have some white space in between. So I think it looks really cool. And I'd recommend using normal tape, but fine. And any color tape is fine, even if you don't have tape, you could draw out a pattern and try to be as precise as possible. And clearly her chevron is not that perfect, so we're just doing random. And then I'm, Ash is showing you what colors we're using. We're using a navy blue and a sea foam blue. So, because she wants a blue binder, and so we're going to do that, and we're going to repeat. And so, yeah, that's what we'll be. And now, we are, show, we are showing you what, how we're going to paint it. And to show you, it's actually really easy. All you have to do is put the paint on the side of the stripe and then um, do paint it over. And I recommend using the same strokes. So if you're doing an up pattern, continue with that up pattern to not see the others. And it makes it ten times better. And we're going to have to do two or three coats of this. And Ash is going to do the light blue. And so first, you can do any pattern you want. You don't have to go in the same direction like I am. You can do anyway. And so we're just going to continue that. And once we're done with that, we're going to do the edges a different, a little differently. Because it takes a little bit and using it at the edges is not that safe you're going to spill it. And so in the meantime, let's do this DIY where you take a normal notebook and you use washi tape and then you can turn it into these really cute binders and here's a picture of us with our final we used these corkboard stickers and put her initials in math on it and so I'm just saying that we're gonna spray paint this with like silvery glitter spray paint to make it add, to add a little pop of color and so yeah that's what we're doing and then here we are spray painting it, the lovely, sparkly, silver stuff. And we really liked it, and we were originally going to do polka dots, but eventually we liked how it turned out. And so this is what you have in the final product. We hope you enjoyed this DIY, and comment below any other DIYs you have, because we love doing these, and we have a ton of supplies, and they're really useful for the school year, and they're really cute. They're also really inexpensive, and we're going to do DIYs based on the inside and some other DIYs, such as a pencil case I'm going to show you in a second. Yeah, that's it. It's really cool. It's a no-so. I bet you already know how to do it. If it's a no-so, use a hot glue gun, felt a button. But we hope you enjoy, and bye!